Welcome again, family, friends, and loved ones. We're gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of two gentle giants. I mean, Michael and Stephen. <laughs> uh, you come here today to share in, their, in this public commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow Michael and Stephen to start their married life together, surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them, and of course, Miss Monroe. There are so many things that I've always appreciated about Mike. Um, his amazing heart, his generosity of spirit. But one of the things that I've always valued about our friendship is the way that we've been able to share our hopes and dreams together over the years uh, with one another. And a lot of those hopes and dreams have changed over the course of 15 years. As we've grown, they've changed with us. Um, but one of those dreams that Mike had never changed, and it was his dream of finding his match his um, equal, the, the person that would love him as much as he would love them. And um, I remember when Mike first told me about Steven, he didn't say, this is the guy. And I didn't even need to meet Steven to know that you were the one. It was in the way that Mike spoke about your relationship, um, the ease that the two of you kind of found together. And then two years ago when I met Steven and I saw them together, watching the way that they complement one another, um, it, it was just so obvious and apparent that, that, this, that this is it. And to the friends and family <laughs> gathered here today, two people in love do not live in isolation. Their love is a source of strength with which they may nourish not only each other, but the world around them. And in turn, we, their community of friends and family have a responsibility to this couple. From this day forward, by our steadfast care, respect, and love, we can support their new marriage and new family that they are creating today and every day that follows. Stephen, before I met you, I always wondered what people meant when they said, <laughs> <clears throat> once you find the one, you just know. I was drawn to your picture when you first came into my life. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, to, thanks to Scruff, <clears throat> Johnny. <clears throat> you initially didn't respond to me, which is okay. <laughs> but I stayed persistent and tried again. Once you finally did, we connected right away. Many thanks to him. Good job, girl. Miss Monroe, and our love of dogs. When we went on our first date and you came around the corner, it hit me like a ton of bricks. This is the one, this is him. This is the man I'm going to marry. Four dogs later, a house, and soon enough kids. Every day you make me the happiest man in the world. I promise to turn on the air conditioning when you are hot, even if, <laughs> even if I am freezing. I pledge to always fill the dishwasher incorrectly so you can play Tetris with all the dishes, pots, and pans. <laughs> I promise to double and triple check that everything is either off or unplugged before we leave the house, thanks to my mother. <clears throat> I pledge to be patient whenever you want to take a selfie and post it with every single hashtag. <laughs> I promise to always be the backseat driver and use my passenger side brake every time you're behind the wheel. <laughs> Steven, you always encourage me to follow my dreams. You always know how to make me feel better and calm me down when I get anxious, nervous, or when I worry. You make me better. I love you, you're my best friend, and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives. This day has been many days in preparation, many years as a journey, um, many hurdles to get over, and many joys to be had. 
these two young men need to know that they have two sets of parents that could not be prouder Michael, from the moment we chatted on Scruff, I knew that you were very special. You lit a fire in me and gave me something I'd never felt. From the start, you challenged me. You made me grow as a person. You didn't care who I was. You just wanted to know the real me. It also helped that you made sure that Monroe was first <laughs> and that she approved. I promise to always cherish your kindness and heart. I promise to always support your dreams and goals. I promise to tell you that I love you before going to bed and kissing you before saying goodbye. I promise to start each day anew and not to dwell in the past. And I promise to always grow and be the best person I can be for you and your family, our family. I knew I wanted to marry you when our families met and I could see getting old together. And I can't wait or imagine my life without you. Whew. <laughs> Michael, you are your mother and I's uh, best friend and the best thing that happened to you other than us was by meeting Stephen. And Stephen, we couldn't be more happier uh, for what happened today. To make your relationship work, it will take love, trust, and dedication. It will take faith and it will take commitment. This is the core of your marriage and why we are gathered here today. By the power of your love and commitment, and by the power invested in me, by the great state of Georgia and the online Universal Life Church. <laughs> Amen. Joking Amen. aside, joking aside, I love you too, and this has been a true joy and honor to share a small part in your lifetime of happiness. And without further ado, I now pronounce you husband and husband. You may kiss your husband and make it count. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, it is my absolute pleasure and huge honor to present to you for the first time Mr. Michael Stewart Molesky and Mr. Stephen Stewart Molesky. Cheers. <laughs>